Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tembani and today we are going to learn ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas about using words to describe location. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at this number chart. I'm going to give you some clues and I want you to guess what numbers I'm talking about. Ready? We'll do one together. I am thinking of a number that is 5 more than 15. What number is it? 20. We started at 15, move forward 5 numbers because it says more than, and we landed on 20. 5 more than 15 is 20. I'm thinking of a number that is 4 more than 22. What number is it? 26. We started at 22 and moved forward 4 numbers and landed on 26. 4 more than 22 is 26. I'm thinking of a number that is 5 more than 38. What is it? Forty-three. This one was a little tricky. We started at 38, moved forward two numbers, and then we had to move to the next line to count on three more numbers. We landed on 43. Five more than 38 is 43. Our learning outcome for today is to understand and use positional words. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. This book I'm going to read to you is called I Spy. What do you think this story is going to be about? I wonder what things I can spy when I use this big pair of eyes called binoculars. They help you see things that are far away. If you look at the picture, where do you think they are? I spy two dogs not far from me. One is sitting behind the tree. Which dog is behind the tree? Right, the brown dog is behind the tree. I spy two grubs almost out of sight. One is eating on the right. Grubs are like caterpillars. What color is the grub on the right? I spy two birds at the swing. One is standing under the ring. The ring is a tire swing. What color bird is under the tire swing? Where is the other bird? Yes, the other bird is on top of the swing set. I spy two spotted frogs. One is on the pile of logs. Do you see the frog? What color is the frog that is on the pile of logs? Where is the other frog? Yes, he is beside the big log. I spy two kites in the sky. One is flying very high. The spotted color kite is the one flying very high. Is the other kite above or below the spotted kite? Right, the striped kite is below the spotted kite. I spy two kittens near the rocks. One is still inside the box. I wonder why he's hiding in the box. Is the other kitten behind the rocks or in front of the rocks? Yes, it's in front of the rocks. 
I spy two cute and cuddly pups. Which one is on the end that is up? Do you know what the pups are playing on? This is a seesaw. It goes up and down when the pup go that is down pushes off the ground. The seesaw goes up and down. I love playing I Spy. You can use any picture to play I Spy. Here is a picture of a playground that I found. I spy something beside the swings. What is it? Right, it's the slide. I spy something in front of the seesaws. What is it? It's the gray cat. I spy something behind the big dog. What is it? Yes, it's the smaller dog. This is a tricky one. I spy something high in the air. What is it? It's an airplane. Here is another picture I found. I spy something that is behind a tree. What is it? The bunny. I spy something on top of the gray bunny in the front. What is it? It's his hat. I spy something next to the tree that is black and white. What is it? It's the soccer ball. Let's reflect on our learning. Take a few moments to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about positional words? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas. Try to play I Spy with your family today. Make sure to communicate using positional words when you play. I'm Miss Whitehead Tembani. Have a great day and keep on counting.